Hello, everybody. So I'm back. I want to do kind of a special clip for everybody because Foodie just finished up with her live, her second live. She did one on milk tea, trying to drag milk tea, and she did it rather badly because milk tea came to the table presenting facts and information. And Foodie just had no argument against it other than insults. She came for milk tea's looks and was just making all kinds of disparaging remarks and just looking more the fool than she already does. But I wanted to make this clip because I wanted to spotlight something. You see, Foodie over on her side, she likes to say that the reaction channels are vultures, that we're stealing her content, that we are borrowing off her content. You know, we're all a bunch of vultures, y'all. Like I said, we're a bunch of zombie vultures. Well, if we are, what I have to say in reply is, Foodie, if we are zombie vultures, then you are a hypocrite vulture. And I'm going to prove it. And I'm going to prove it using your own content by showing something that you did in your live today just a few minutes ago. I'm going to show Foodie at the computer during her live pulling up other reaction channels just to make fun of them. And also she went to FFG's live while FFG was also live covering Foodie and was just playing her content. So let me just go ahead and share the screen so you guys can see everything, okay? Before we get into that, there's a few things that I wanna cover on Twitter. These are the things that I wanted to cover in the last react because Foodie went live and it looked like something that she might dirty delete, I want to cover it really quickly, okay? Uh, so when Foodie gets in, in a mood and she goes on a tear, sometimes you just don't have a choice. You gotta be right there to cover it, or if you don't, then you gotta go around to the clip channels or the archive channels and search for it, then that's a big pain in the butt. So let's go over here to Twitter. Yeah, so let's cover some tweets, Chantal. So Chantal's deleted comment says, just so we're very clear, loophole means fraudulent. Exactly. Chantal's over there talking about finding loopholes to be married and to be with Sala. If you were going about things the legal way, the right way, you don't need to search for loopholes. Finding a loophole in something means you're trying to find a workaround. Okay, Chantal's deleted comments also says, she says she challenges us for the truth. I've stayed out of this, but after what happened last night or coming for milk tea, challenge accepted. I'm aware the non-existent civil ID is fraudulent as well as her loophole residency. Is Canada aware you claim residency in Kuwait? Yeah, are they aware? Are they aware, Chantal? Are they aware you've given up your residency? Because, uh, you know, like how can you be a citizen of both countries? Are you allowed to do that? That's a big question. Here we go from Queen of WTF. So yeah, so Foodie was coming for Milk Tea and the fact that Milk Tea wears a wig, which I think the wig that Milk Tea wears looks great on her. Let's remind you, Chantal, of some of the wigs that you've worn and how you looked. Let's go back in time for a minute. Here's one of your wigs. Not really all that flattering. This wig here, look at you, you look a mess. That wig looks dirty. Looks like it needs to be washed and styled and blow dried. It, it looks bad. It looks really bad. And you want to talk about single white female? What were you doing here? You were trying to play act as Didi. So bad wigs all over Chantal. You spent over $2,000 on wigs. And a lot of them did not look good on you. They did not flatter your skin tone. They did not flatter your face shape. You weren't wearing a wig cap. You would glue the wig to your head. You want to talk about somebody's wig and the cost of the wig? Let me remind you, it's not the cost of the wig. I've seen some really great, beautiful, cheap wigs. I've seen some really great, beautiful, expensive wigs. But price does not determine how the wig looks on you. It's just, just a matter about finding something flattering that flatters you. And you know you've done it right when you're wearing a wig and people don't know it's a wig. They think it's your natural hair. I mean, it looks completely natural. You seem to pick out the worst wigs for yourself. So don't come for milk tea and her wigs no more. You hear me? 
you're no wig expert. You don't know how to wear for a wig. You don't know how to, to, to hold on to them. You spend so much money on wigs and they're all sitting on your bedroom floor filthy. Let's see, this person, Sean, tells me the comment says, one, you cannot get married on a tourist visa. Two, you have to exit and re-enter on a new visa to change your status. And three, the dowry agreements are made between the husband and the wife's family. So more proof that she's lying about this marriage situation. Uh, D. Angry Scott says, Foodie Beauty, certainly sounding like she's saying goodbye to Kuwait. Is she leaving earlier or are we getting a week of pretending she doesn't want to leave? I think, in my opinion, Foodie is, she's over being there. She's over the fact that she doesn't have as many freedoms as she does in Canada. That she's restricted in what she can do and what she can say and what she can wear. I think she wants a lot of those freedoms back. And I think she's also sick of the fact that while she's in Kuwait, her money keeps going down and she needs that money desperately. So she wants to go home. And with everything that I've seen lately, you know, like her doing the long post, talking about cleaning the house, doing the laundry, cleaning out the fridge. Y'all, when is the one time you clean out the fridge? If you're not doing it because you're really hungry and you're just taking everything out of the fridge because there's not much in there, you're trying to make a meal. You're cleaning out the fridge when you move. Maybe she's cleaning out the fridge because she's got to get out of there soon. And the place has to be clean to get some kind of deposit back or she can't leave it a mess. So she talked about cleaning out the fridge, doing her laundry, cleaning, which is something that foodie doesn't normally do. And then doing like a snack haul. And a lot of that to me look like airplane food that you do on, you know, you carry on with yourself. The natter shows up with a bunch of food, hundreds and hundreds of dollars worth, which is very sus because it's not YouTube payday yet. Where is he getting all that food? There's only one person that I know of in his life that has that kind of money to buy that food, and that's Foodie. I think she bought that for Natter because she plans on making a little visit before she goes home. Because she did say she'll be home on the 29th, but semantics. Maybe she'll be at her official home on the 29th, but maybe making a little visit to Natter's before she gets there. You know, semantics and, you know, loopholes. <laughs> she likes loopholes. Loophole right there. She's telling the truth without telling the truth. She's telling the truth, but but leaving stuff out that she knows she's going to get dragged for. So, yeah, it, I, I've got this feeling that Foodie, she's she's planning an earlier exit than what she's talking about. Like, that's just the, 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 the nagging feeling that keeps at me that maybe she might be leaving a lot earlier, but she's tr still trying to act like she's going to be there until the 29th. Okay, now this is something cute. I saw this on Twitter. Boots and Vegan says the cutest fight ever. You got two, two lambs going at it. You know, one lamb saying, hey, get away. I want some milk. The other one saying, no, no, it's all mine. You, you get away. <laughs> you want to fight me for the milk? Yeah, let's fight. <laughs> let's fight. Here's a beautiful picture of the church. Oh, <laughs> this is from Dust Bunny. <laughs> Fantastic. All right. You guys aren't here for this stuff. Let's go for what you're really here for. So I want to show you guys proof positive that Foodie Beauty, she spends all of her time, if she's not doing a live, if she's not doing videos with Sala, she's, she's so into YouTube, she can't get away. Can't get away, won't get away. She's so invested in the Foodie Beauty character. The Foodie Beauty character has taken over her life. She's no longer Chantal Marie. Chantal Marie is of no interest to her because Chantal Marie, the person, has problems, has few friends, her life is in ruin. So she focuses all of her energy, all of her time onto the character, Foodie Beauty. And as I've said in the past, even if you are playing a character in a play, in a movie, you have to step away from the character. You have to be the person. It's a healthy balance. You have to know what is real and what is not real, what's a character and what's a real person. But Foodie spends all of her time when she's not live streaming, running around to all the reaction channels, seeing what they're doing, all up in their comment sections, all up in their chats, either talking under socks or uh, lurking to see what they're saying because she needs a reason to rage because that's the most interesting thing about her channel. I'm going to show you guys proof. 
of her being in FFG's chat. Like she was, she's doing a live stream. She can talk about whatever she wants on her live stream. But what does she decide to do? She says she hates French fried girl, but yet on her live stream, she's going to bring up Frenchie and she's going to watch Frenchie. Watch. Look, it wasn't enough that you decided to react to Milk Tea, which is another reactor. You're going to pick another reactor to make into content. You're a freaking hypocrite. You're a hypocrite. You hate the reaction channels. We're supposed to be vultures. We're stealing your content, but yet you'll come onto our channels and look for stuff to talk about, won't you? Oh, my boy is choking. <laughs> Let's see what these. <clears throat> Watch this. Uh, the window to Narnia. <laughs> Imagine this, there's someone you're doing a live stream. There are people in the room that are not just your viewers, but people that pay that extra $5 to be VIBs. And instead of focusing on your stream and focusing on your viewers, some of which have paid a little bit extra to talk to you, you're not talking to them. You're focusing on a reactor who's also doing a live stream. Imagine that, the rudeness of it all, the rudeness. And she wonders, she wonders why people go to the reaction channels. She wonders why people prefer the reaction channels these days. Because she doesn't care about people. She's not grateful and thankful to be on YouTube to be able to make the money that she makes. She just, she feels so entitled. She can just come on live stream, do nothing, think of no ideas, and people will just pay for it. Hold on, hold on. Hey, babe. Yeah, but yeah, the only thing cut off is your crappy bangs. Okay. Stories on the internet. Oh, she's going to Monty's live stream. It's like, <laughs> like she, she, she thinks she's doing something cool and hip here. Oh, I'm gonna snipe the reactors. Ooh, look at me, I'm edgy. No, you're stupid. You've got a live stream going. You're not even watching this in private. You're looking like a fool. No, he's not. Oh, yeah. Hyundai Elantra versus Toyota Corolla. How dare you be monetized? I feel bad for Monty. Just let him. <laughs> and how much of the coins Foodie Beauty tries and fails? So not only did she go to one reaction channel and was like peeking in on them during her live stream, she decided to go for Frenchie too. And you know what? Hats off to you, Frenchie. Hats off to you, the way you handled it. You trolled the crap out of her and it worked. Was that reacting? Like she's a better reactor or something. Am I, am I the only one? I see a lot of you guys also. <clears throat> saying not married, not married. It's not legal. If you get married on fake documents and it's fraud, is that allegedly conspiracy or whatever? Oh my God, do they not have anything else to talk about? Do you? You have your live stream open right now. Right now. You're live. You're not doing recording. You're live in front of people. You've got people in the room that are there to talk to you. For what reason? I do not know. For what reason they support you? I have no idea. I'm still wondering about that why they support you but they do but they're in the room to talk to you these are the people that you rely upon to have a paycheck chantal you're not talking to them you're ignoring them you're putting your attention on the reactors who are doing their live stream in their room why aren't you paying attention to your own audience or just sitting and thinking about what can i talk about now what do you guys want to talk about? Tell me about yourselves. That sort of thing. You're not doing that. Your attention is on the reactors doing their lives. And how could you sit there in a hijab preaching about Islam when you literally started in the most haram way possible? Are you kidding? Wow. What's and you know, she's still hot on the way she's acting. 
breaking all the laws, wearing the hijab and the abaya and cursing and gossiping, haram, eating excessively, haram. Yes, yes, both of those. That's you, Chantal. Haram about the way we started. Thank you for the super chat. She's so dumb. So you guys want to prove, you guys want to prove that Chantal does not, that she goes around to the reaction channels and sees what they're doing, getting in their chats, going in their comment sections, that she is preoccupied with everybody else. You want to prove that she covets what other people do, how much they're making, pocket watching them. Here it is, right here. Proof positive. Proof positive. She's not content to being on her channel and making the money that she makes, which she's still lucky to make because she doesn't even try anymore. Here is proof positive that she is just too preoccupied with other people and what they've got going on. Hold on, y'all. Yeah. Here it comes. <laughs> <laughs> Renji's about to troll her. He funk weight laws that we already explained. Babe, we have to prove to these people how dumb they are and wrong, okay? You should make point your camera at the PC screen and make her watch herself. She doesn't even show her friggin' ugly face. And neither do you. See, that's the laughable part about you, Chantal. You come for the reactors that have an avatar. Are you coming on camera without your thousand filters? No, you're not coming on camera on natural. You're not coming on camera with your natural face and your natural figure. You're using filters, girl. You're using filters. So what do you mean? What do you mean? Coming for the reactors saying they don't show their face. Well, if we're going to be, if we're going to talk details and we are, you're not showing yours for real. You're showing the Chantal that you wish you were. Not the Chantal that actually is. I pressed the wrong button. Uh, <clears throat> well, in a way, you've got a living avatar. You know, the filters are your living avatar. I wasn't ready for this. Let me just get into my, my computer for a minute here. Like, what is there to talk about? Fake marriage, fake marriage, fake marriage, like zombies. You know, there's an old saying, you don't like it, don't look. So you don't like it, you say you don't like it, why are you looking? And you, after today, I don't want to hear any more out of that mouth about complaining about people restreaming your content, not when you're doing it to the reactors. From this point forward, your argument is now invalid. Let them talk all they want. Oh, there it you can't criticize people for doing something that you yourself are doing and have done. This is the problem though. This is their, this is what everyone's flocking to watch. Like as if it makes any difference. It's like totally fake. You like it? You don't like it? <laughs> Go back to Egypt, you fuck. <laughs> of course she plays Cuba Rage. Okay, let's just mute it. You're a coward. You're, you're such a coward. Why not play the Cuba Rage, Chantal? Are you afraid of facing what you did? what you said then, because the Cuba rages were probably the most honest rages that you've done. They say that a drunk mouth sometimes have a sober tongue. You were speaking some sober thoughts, including the thought you put out there that you were gonna manipulate the F out of everybody and they come on camera and be sweet as pie and everybody was gonna eat it up. There was no more sober or honest thought you've ever said beyond that. You were being completely serious and truthful when you said that. You were so in your feelings and your arrogance when you said that. You can't face yourself. That's why you avoid the Cuba rages. That's why you avoid looking at it, talking about it, thinking about it. This was you. This is you. This person on the screen is you. Being your most honest. No mask on. So, of course, you avoid it because you avoid truth of any kind. There you go. Like, what a pussy move, honestly. Cuba rage every time. Coward, pussy. It's not a, it's not a, it's not a move. She's trolling you and it's working. It's getting you mad. It's making you feel awkward. 
It's making you feel awkward and I'm living for it. I love it for you the most. You know why you're feeling awkward? Because you got new beaters in the room that maybe haven't been around for as long and they maybe, maybe they don't know about this. That's why you work so hard on dirty deleting everything because you're afraid new beaters coming in with that new money might go away if they saw things from your past, if they knew about things from your past. So she's trolling you with something from your past that makes you uncomfortable. I'm all for it. I'm all for it. And you're such a coward, you're running from it. Oh, let's mute it. Come on. Come on. You're like, you're, you're a tough girl over there, right? You can take anything, right? Why are you muting it? Coward pussy, coward pussy, coward pussy right should we play the video maybe i should play the video of her like fertility shaming how about that yeah for anybody who's a new beezer that you just joined up on chantal's channel you want to see the real chantal go do a search under booty beauty cuba rage you will be shocked at the things coming out of her mouth that is the real foodie beauty the one you see in front of you right now, this is the restricted foodie beauty because of where she's at and she can't do as much. But I promise you, I promise you, when she gets home to Canada, when she gets on Canadian soil and she's able to do whatever she wants, she's going to go wild. And you're, you're going to get a glimpse of what we already know, what we've already seen. She's going to be doing the party favors. And she might be happy and giggly for a minute, but then when she crashes, the mean, nasty, bullying, controlling Chantal is going to come out. Then you'll know. Then you'll know. Why, does, why do people keep playing this every time I stream tonight? Because it bothers you. Because it bothers you. Because this is you, Chantal. This is the real you. This is you uncensored. No mask. No facade no masquerade no nothing this is you it bugs you you avoid looking at this because this was you at your worst and at your truest that's why we do it and it's working you're so scared to watch it you're so scared of your new viewers seeing it and hearing it you're not playing it they have no content exactly okay well, obviously you don't because you're you're reacting to frenchie while she's doing a live Where's your content? Miss Superstar, Miss Big Deal, where's your content? Okay, so there you go. Let it play. Yeah, let it play. <laughs> oh, turn the volume on. Mature people grow and change. She doesn't understand that because she doesn't. She sits there. You're not a mature person. You've been in Kuwait for how long? You have not changed. Have you slowed down with the eating? Nope. That eating problem is still out of control. You've gained so much weight since you've been there and you've been nothing but nasty since you've been there. You've been nothing but angry since you set foot in Kuwait. You have not changed, you have not grown, you've not done anything good for yourself. And when you come home to Canada, it's just gonna amp itself up. But those who are on Chantal's side coming over here, listen, don't take my word for it, don't listen to me. Think me a liar. But remember this video, remember these words, when Chantal gets home, which will not take long, she'll be home soon, when she's there to be free to do whatever she wants, you'll see for yourselves, discover your own truth. Don't take my words for truth, discover your own truth. I'll be over here saying I told you so later. Like, seriously, um, just wait. If she didn't have it on for I think it was a yo mama. See, there she goes again. So she reacted to milk tea earlier. And you would think like a, a two hour live reacting to a reactor would be enough for content, but not Chantal. She does another live where she picks two more reactors to talk about. And she's looking for another one. Thumbnail. Using us for content, you hypocrite. Where was it? Look at her fupa. Look at her. What about her fupa? You got a bigger one. And 
How can somebody who has a FUPA shame somebody else who also has one? Make that make sense. FUPA, no joke. And she makes fun of my FUPA. And how do you know she has a FUPA? Have you seen her naked? We've seen you naked more than I wanted to, trust me. I didn't ask for that. I did not sign up for that. That's cruel and unusual punishment. But how can you say someone's got a FUPA if you haven't seen them naked? You don't know. Like, look at this. And like her whole audience, that's their thing. Oh, her FUPA, like, it grows. This is her content. This is her content. And obviously it's working very well for her because she's doing well. Can you say the same? Can you say the same, Chantal? You really can't. Your views suck. Your views suck. But you're so busy coveting what other people have and what other people make. That's where you spend your time, coveting. What does coveting lead to? It leads to jealousy. It leads to insecurity. It leads to wrath. It doesn't lead to a good place, but that's what you do, covet and pocket watch versus going back to the table and saying, what can I do to improve myself and my content and make my viewers happy to keep my channel going? Stop coveting. Stop coveting and stop being a liar and a hypocrite and going after the reaction channels and accusing us of stealing when nobody steals your content because your live streams and your videos stay on your channel for anybody to watch. We're not taking them away from you. We just give people a choice about where they wanna watch it and how entertained they wanna be. And the viewers are the ones who have the freedom and they make their choices. And you can't control people and where they go and what they do, nor should you. Are you mad because people have a choice? Are you mad because they make a choice and it's not you? Maybe there are some people in the world that don't want to enable an addict, which is what you are. You are an addict with several addictions, including the one with food. You're doing self-harm content on YouTube. You're hurting yourself on camera. And then you expect people to pay you to do this, to fund you to do this. And so some of them do. Some of them are feeders. It's self-harm content and it's sad to watch. It's really sad when you consider what you could do with that money, improve yourself, make your life better, but you're not interested in that. Nobody can make you interested. So your life and your channel is exactly the way you want it because if you want it a different way, you could change your path, but you're not. So it is what it is. If you decide to get on YouTube and make this content that's negative, that's toxic, that's triggering, Expect people to criticize, and when they do, don't complain. It's so sad. My, yeah, they probably he probably does. Yeah. Like, what's what is this? How is this relevant? Like, seriously. So she doesn't want me to stream snipe her, but she has no problem doing. She doesn't want me to stream snipe her, so she goes back to Cuba. No, like. <laughs> She's doing successful trolling. I support this. I support this. I support Chantal feeling uncomfortable. I support her feeling awkward. I support this moment. I really do. I support it 100%. Well played, Frenchie. Well played. Make her uncomfortable. <laughs> Make her uncomfortable. Rage like a big fat coward bully. And she wants she, she has no problem stream sniping me though it's not stream sniping it's restreaming your man is a gamer he didn't explain this to you he should but if not i will it's restreaming sniping is a gamer term always has been always will be this isn't a video game these are not two twitch channels sniping each other the youtube channel this is restreaming like that is so pathetic, so pathetic. All right, whatever. See, she's out. It worked. What Frenchie did worked. <laughs> what Frenchie did work. She trolled the crap out of, of Foodie. Foodie couldn't take it. Foodie's a big old soft marshmallow. She can't take the heat. She can't take it. She had to leave, had to go. She bolted it. She didn't even last five minutes. Well played, Frenchie.
you want to be a coward, go for it. I need a nest cafe. And here's something else. Okay, where is it? All right. So what are we doing here? Let me see if I can find it. Give me just a second, please. So what is Chantal doing? Right. Snipe Monty and repeat it. In this clip, Foodie is getting just, she had a jar of Nutella, was eating spoonfuls of Nutella. Yeah, Nutella's good. It tastes like melted chocolate. It's good stuff. But why am I bringing this up? I'm bringing it up because it has to do with her self-harm content and her catering to the feeders. Anybody out there on Chantal's side of the fence, if Chantal tries to give you a bunch of lip service saying she's going to change, she's going to get healthier, she's turning her life around, here you go. Here you go. She's got an ED. She's got a raging active ED, and that comes from somebody who is in recovery for BED. Come for me for that. I used to have BED. I still do. Like an addict is always an addict. Either you're on the side of recovery or not, but you're still an addict. She's got a raging problem with food. She's an emotional eater. She binge eats. And she's monetized her problem with food. Absolutely monetized it. And once you do that, you don't want to be in recovery. You don't want to get healthy because you're too busy making money off of it. And look how it's affecting her health. But here she is catering to the stupid feeders again. Everything he says. Go to Hater Tater Twitter to read about FFG. And the ridiculous thing about her doing the eating on camera, she does it because she says it makes the haters angry. But the only person that is being hurt by what she's doing is her. If she eats 10 million calories, it's not hurting the reaction channels. It's not hurting the viewers. It's not hurting the VIBs. She's the one the most affected because she's the one taking those calories in. And her health is getting worse and she's gaining more weight. You know, like her mobility is going down. You know, it, when you're doing things to make the haters angry, Chantal, all you're doing is hurting yourself more. Oh, okay. <laughs> hey, Rhonda. Or Tater Twitter to read about FFG. Yeah, so. Look at that. Candy bar with Nutella on it. Straight up feeder content. Straight up feeder content. Do you want to, do you want to wait for a cookie, babe? Do you want something, babe? So she's trying to be, be healthy. She's trying, she's changing her life over there, right? She's, she's moving in a different direction. Horse crap. Horse crap. Bunch of horse crap. Big piles of it. She hasn't changed. Anybody over there? Chantal has changed. She's gotten better. No, she hasn't. She just disguised her problems for now. But you'll see all of them in full view when she gets home and she doesn't have to adhere to any rules. I want to go to bed, babe. And go. I always talk in a baby voice. <clears throat> oh. <laughs> October. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I feel like showing people the marriage contract. What do you think? But that's the thing, like. So healthy, eating a whole jar of Nutella right before bed. We talked about it, but I'm like. Anyway, that's all the parts I wanted to show for this short video. I know it is not a too terribly short, but I'm tired of Chantal calling the reaction channel channels vultures, saying we steal her content when you just saw her during a live pull up the reaction channels and was using them for content and was wanting to restream people just so she would have content for her channel. Like I said, Chantal, from here on out, your argument is invalid, ma'am. Your argument is invalid. Nobody's stealing your content. Nobody's taking your video off your channel and putting it on their channel so that you can't make money. It's just that all the reaction channels do is give people a choice about where they want to go and what they want to watch. And if you don't like how people are making their choices, too bad. The public has a right to choose where they go and what they watch. So with that said, I'm out.
Hope you guys have a good one. Please take care and have a good day. Bye-bye.